Hello, everyone. Yeah, just making sure I was, you can hear me. Um, so, yes, sorry, I've been a bit quiet. I've been very, very busy um, doing fun things only. That's my motto. Um, <laughs> that's all I do now is fun things only. F-T-O, F-T-O. Um, and it's been, you know, it's been working really well. Following that as a, as a guideline for my businesses and for my life has, has been working out really good. So I only choose to do the things that I find fun and that I like and everything else, um, you know, basically I outsource, I outsource to people that can do it faster, that can do it easier. Um, if it's something that I'm not going to ever really want to learn, then I just outsource it. <laughs> I just get rid of it. So um, fun things only has been my motto, certainly for this year. Um, very much so I've been doing that. So um, I was on some calls this morning, which uh, are always a pleasure to talk to people, help them get them clarity on what their problem is um, with LinkedIn, with their LinkedIn strategy, you know, where they want to get it to and just showing them the gap of where they are now and, and where they can get to. And if, you know, if they want to be, um, use me to help them, then I'm, I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Mark, how are you? Haven't seen you around for a while, Mark. I'm sure you're, you're back on the tools working, mate. So pretty busy, I can imagine. Um, but yeah, I wanted to, to come on and t uh, talk to, um, the issue of, um, you know, a problem that I see for a lot of people on LinkedIn is that they go into um, trying to connect and build connections. And what they're missing is that they are going in very, very random in terms of finding their ideal clients. And, you know, a lot of people go really, really wide. And that's that's a problem. You, you can't. I haven't seen people on LinkedIn, you know, get to those kind of seven figures, six figures um, yearly by using a net. Really, I, I mean, there's a few, but not not really. Like the individual solopreneur, entrepreneur, business owner, you've got to go into LinkedIn with a spear gun. Essentially, you've got to go into it with a spear gun. And maybe that you really only want to eat, kill and eat like three to five different types of fish, right? That's how you've got to go into to LinkedIn. You don't go in with a net and just trawl away and, and hope to get kind of success or, or pull out a lobster or a, I don't know, I'm not a fishy guy. I don't eat. I'm in Japan, in Tokyo, but I hate sushi. Okay, I'm just going to say it now. And everyone says, oh, you're so lucky to be in Tokyo. You get to eat all the sushi. I hate sushi. All right, kill me. I don't care. I just hate it. I want things that have legs, that have a face, that, you know, have parents and don't swim in water. And I'll eat them, but not not fish. No. Anyway, I digress. But so the key is the key is when you go into LinkedIn, the one of the key ways to save you so much time and save you so much pain is to really lock down a a um, target client persona, client avatars, and stick to that. Get excellent at locating them, finding them, engaging them, connecting them, messaging them, testing that, testing that. So every time you go onto LinkedIn and you go in with purpose and you go in with intent, you're going after the same fish, right? You're just going after your favorite fish. That's it. And not only are you going after your favorite fish with your spear gun, but you're going after the most active live fish, right? There's some fish that just, uh, just you know, I don't know. Right? kind of floating on the top of the water dead. That's like LinkedIn. There's all these like accounts and, you know, 80% of them, these these people are coming on once a month or posting, if you're lucky, once a month. Just avoid them because that builds into your mindset, right? If you are constantly doing activity and you're getting no um, output from it and you're getting no response, what, what happens is people just start to go, oh, LinkedIn doesn't work. It sucks. And, you know, it's bullshit. Oh, how did he make money? He's just bullshitting. And they just leave. And then they just go on with the belief that LinkedIn sucks, doesn't work. And those that say it does work, they, you know, it doesn't work for you. That's all that means. In your experience, it doesn't work for you. And the reason for that is because you're not doing it right. It's, it's, 
I mean, that's the hard, cold truth that you're not putting in strategies that actually work. Because believe me, there are millions and millions and millions of dollars every day being made off LinkedIn, off leads on LinkedIn. You've got to remember, especially for those in the States, 70% of business people in the US are on LinkedIn, <laughs> right? Now, not all of them are going to be active, absolutely. But it's finding those active ones and it's going in there with the spear gun. And once you have... Um, your client personas locked in. That way you can create content, um, just one set of content for that particular group of people. You can create connection messaging. You can create in, in mail messaging. Um, it just saves you so much time rather than constantly going after every single fish that swims past you um, and then putting a net in it and pulling it up. Um, it just doesn't work like that, guys. It's not Facebook. It's not Facebook. It's not show my ad to 50,000 people, get 0.01% clicking through, and then selling them a $7 widget. It's, it, that's not what it's about. So um, big, big fatal flaw I see is not understanding your client persona, is not having a, a clear defined avatar of them and how that translates into LinkedIn, and then going in there with intent to secure just those ones. Right, And not only secure those ones, but secure the most active of those ones as well. So it's a matter of understanding that, then finding them, then locating you know, um, where they hang out the most and engaging only, only the active ones, right? Only the active ones. Otherwise, you just run around doing nothing. And as we always say, no value vomits, <laughs> right? I know many of you are no longer doing value vomits, that's awesome. Just stop it. I had one of the, the guys in the group this morning was just saying um, to me that they've stopped um, doing that kind of approach and are now doing much, much more natural language engagement and they're seeing results. So um, do that. No value vomits to your ideal clients. You're just going to burn them out and you know no one responds to them. I mean, I delete them all the time and I'm sure you're deleting them as well, right? So... If, you, if you're value vomiting in people's inbox, stop that today, no more. Only, only give value if, they, um, if you have identified what their problem is. Um, so cool. Ah, Trina, how are you? Um, yes, you've helped me tremendously. I'm finally adding the people who benefit me um, as groups. Benefit me as groups? Benefits. Okay, all right, so... Good, I'm glad. Uh, just target those that, yeah, exactly. Just target those that are, are going to be responding. Because remember, every time you get like a rejection, every time someone, um, yeah, good, fixed. Okay, so Trina's just saying she's fixed her profile so they can find her, that's cool. So you can easily test that as well. You can see your appearances in your dashboard and you can see how many people are finding you, how many times you're appearing in searches and you can adjust your, your profile so you're getting, you know, thousands. You know, that's 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 what leads to money, becoming, um, you know, coming up in, in people's searches by the hundreds or thousands. Certainly if it's targeted, it's going to help a lot. Um, so where was I? I, yeah. Anyway, I just want to, to come on with that kind of bit of information because I see it. I see it regularly. Um, yeah, and with your value vomits, just don't don't dump in people's inboxes all this value if you don't know what their problem is. Like if you truly don't understand what their problem is, don't offer a solution because you're just you know you're offering what you think is value. You're just you're forcing reciprocity. Nothing's worse than I hate that so much because, you know, um, it's a key principle of influence, social um, uh, reciprocity, right? Someone does something for you, you tend to want to do something back or there's that social obligation. And I really hate because, you know, I'm a bit of a softie, not only physically, but um, in my heart, I'm a bit of a softie. And when someone does something for me, I always want to do something back and repay that. That's just how I am. And when someone puts information there and they put all this, you know, now I just delete it, right? Because I didn't ask for it, because I don't want to read it. It's kind of like, oh, I don't know, boom. Because I don't want to feel that kind of forced reciprocity because it really, really sucks. And that's what a value vomit does, is that you're forcing these people and they have that obligation. It's just the whole messy feeling. So guys, don't value vomit. 
only offer a solution when you know what their problem is. You've identified it, and then they've asked you to provide a solution, and then go away, you know, go and and provide real value. It's hard to do this on the screen. Provide real value, not a value vomit. Okay, and you only get that once you have that rapport, once you understand what their problem is, and then you can deliver your solution. So, all right, that's it. I'm gonna go get some food. 12:30. I've got some calls with some people this afternoon to to give them a blueprint of how to be successful on LinkedIn and what their problems are, um, what the gap is, and you know, some of them I know uh, I'll help them and I'll I'll coach them to it. Others, um, you know, good luck to them. Uh, it's taken me years to work it out, so <laughs> I'm sure it's going to take them years as well. Um, all right, great. Have a good day, evening, morning, wherever you may be on this fine blue planet of ours. See you later, guys. Bye.